Republican Senator Roy Blunt of Missouri was on Fox News Sunday, and when he was talking about health care, he said, quote, I think any law you pass that discourages people from working can't be a good idea. So what he's referring to is the fact that now with Obamacare, people don't have to work two jobs because one of the jobs simply provides them with health insurance. And that was a, you know, a thing that was happening a lot nowadays, that people were like, okay, I have this job, which does okay, but I don't have health insurance through that job, and I don't make enough money to get health insurance with, with that amount of money. So let me get a second job just for the health insurance with a place that offers health insurance. So now that Obamacare is in place, people don't, don't have to go to these jobs that they don't want to be at simply to get covered. So it's a good thing, or at least any sane person, that's a good thing. It's making people more free, have, have a better choice. They can be productive more in the ways that they choose to, as opposed to being this, you know, indentured servitude for some penicillin if something goes wrong. It's basically what it was. Uh, he continues, he said, why would we want to do that? Why would we think that's a good thing? So what he's saying is providing access to health care just makes people lazy. In fact, he goes on to say that rather directly uh, later on in the interview. And think about that, man. I mean, first of all, to his point that you would never want to disincentivize people uh, from working, that that's not a good idea. But wait a second, it never, under no circumstances, do you want some sort of law that might disincentivize work under no circumstances? But wait a second, when there was slavery, the unemployment rate was zero. Everybody was employed because the people, some people just weren't paid and they were forced to work. Zero percent unemployment rate. So it did disincentivize work when we freed the slaves. Unemployment rate went up, right? And that wasn't a good example of doing something that disincentivized work for a, a period of time. How about, you know, paid maternity leave? That disincentivizes work. You can't work as you're squeezing a human being out of your vagina, right? That disincentivizes work. That's a good law. It's never a good thing to disincentivize work, even briefly. How about vacation time? In the U.S., we have zero paid vacation days by law, okay? Every other modern industrial country, every other one, literally, literally, okay? They all have it. They all have, whether it's one week or three weeks or whatever, every place, some places have six weeks paid vacation by law, whether it's paid sick leave or paid vacation leave, when you add everything together, we have none. We have zero. The average amount of paid time off somebody in America gets is one week. All right, there's 365 days in a year. I think we need a little more time off than seven fucking days. Or it's not even really that. It's five days. I mean, it's such a joke, man. It's such a joke. I mean, what we should have, as any, any sane person can, can say that, look, not everybody works... Uh, the job that they're passionate about, that they love, that they found this in their life, and they go, this is it, this is what I do. So being that most people are working at a job that is just a job, you have to give them time to be human beings in their downtime. You got to give them time to uh, find what they like when it comes to leisure, find what uh, really uh, makes their clock tick in terms of, you know, whatever. My thing is uh, going to having a, uh, being a season ticket holder for, I don't know, uh, the Yankees, so that guy, you gotta let that guy do that. Or this guy over here likes to build model airplanes in his garage, so gotta have him do that. This guy over here is a novelist, and he never had any of his books published, but he likes writing. Gotta allow these people to do this in their downtime, so you have to give them downtime to be a human being. Never mind just relaxing and spending time with your family, which you should do. Did you know in 1910, William Howard Taft, a conservative Republican president, uh, had a headline in the New York Times that said, every, uh, Working person should get three weeks paid vacation by law. I, I'm, I'm, wait, I fucked that up. And it, I get one with the lower number. Three months paid vacation by law. A conservative Republican president said three months paid vacation by law. A Democrat couldn't say that today. He would be called a communist, socialist, pinko, whatever, right? How far out of bounds have we gotten? How insane, how puritanical in our work ethic, how ridiculous. We're all just, you know, servants for a corporate overlord, unless you're a small business owner or the few people who can skirt around the system, right? Or people who were born into money. Like, it's ridiculous, uh, the, the current state of affairs and the way the economic system functions today. So for this guy to say... Giving people health care, which they're not even doing because the people have to pay for it, right? But having people have slightly better health care, you're disincentivizing the, uh, the people from, from working 24-7, so that's a, probably a bad idea. you got to keep them in the dark about stuff like this. Well, you know, 
You're really exposing what you think of the average person. 